What's up, guys? I'm LQ. This is the LQ Review, and I'm here to give my review of Season 1 of The Movies That Made Us. The spinoff to The Toys That Made Us, the, a, TV, a Netflix TV series that I absolutely adore. I love The Toys That Made Us. And, and when I heard that they were coming out with The Movies That Made Us, I was just really excited about that because I'm a huge, obviously a huge movie nerd. And I, I was even more excited when I heard the lineup. You, they, they had an episode on the Ghostbusters, Home Alone, Die Hard, and Dirty Dancing. Three out of those four movies are movies that I love. Just love. that They, they are just formative, formative movies for me. Movies that contributed to my huge movie fandom. Die Hard is my favorite action movie of all time. Home Alone gets played every year at my house at Christmas time. Ghostbusters is one of those movies I watched when I was a kid and just, I, I, I wore out the VHS tape. Dirty Dancing. I respect the movie. I respect what they accomplished. I respect the story. I, you know, I respect so much about that movie, but it's not one of those movies that I've got a lot of like nostalgia for. I, it, it played a lot in my house when I was a kid, but that's because my sister watched it all the time. It was just something that I wasn't into. Um, but the other three are movies that I just absolutely adore. So I'm predisposed to liking this series, obviously. Like, I was fired, I was more fired up for this than I was for season three of The Toys That Made Us. So, first of all, this series did, did not have a great opening song like The Toys That Made Us do. You know, The Toys That Made Us has The Toys That Made Us, The Toys That Made Us is here. Th this one had no song. It had a, like, um, musical opening but it was instrumental no no lyrics they got to they, they have to improve that for season two to be sure <laughs> when when they i thought they were gonna come out with these are the movies that made us that would have made me happy but nothing nothing so they, that's that's something they definitely need to address um all right this is gonna sound crazy but the episode that i liked the most was the the dirty dancing episode and that pro the reason for that is probably because I didn't know any of this stuff. Like, I've never watched the D Dirty Dancing commentary. I've got the movie on Blu-ray, but I've never watched the commentary. I've never watched any making of videos. I didn't know any of this stuff. And so I learned a lot about what it took to get this movie made. I learned a lot about some of the conflict that was on uh, that was on set. I learned a lot with the Dirty Dancing episode. It was very enlightening to me, and it made me respect the movie even more. So. That was my favorite episode, was the Dirty Dancing episode, which is completely backwards because out of those four movies, that's the one that I'm like, eh. <laughs> but it was my favorite episode. It was really, really well done. I learned a lot on it. Uh, my second favorite episode was the Ghostbusters episode. Really well done. Gave me a lot of insight. And one thing that this episode did, well, all the episodes did this, was they had little um, memorials at the end for people who starred or, or worked on the cat or worked on the uh, crew. Um, people who worked on the production for people who passed away. So, you know, it's between the release of the movie and now I thought that was really nice. And the one for Harold Ramis was great. They had her daughter, they had his daughter on there and, uh, and, and she got to give a lot of her thoughts, you know, growing up with Egon that was really special. So I really liked the Ghostbusters episode. I learned a lot about about what it took to make it. I, I think I've watched the Ghostbusters commentary, maybe. But I learned a lot here also. This was a really well done episode. Alright. Out of all the episodes <laughs> that... Um, well, let's talk about my third favorite first. My third favorite was the Home Alone episode. I love the Home Alone episode as well. Really well done. Learned a lot about, again, what it took to get it made, some of the conflict. Joe Pesci wasn't very happy with a lot of stuff happening on set. There was some other... They filmed the movie with some other guy playing Marv. I didn't know that. Um, so they had some other guy playing Marv. And and that was fascinating to me. And it just wasn't working. His chemistry with Joe Pesci wasn't working. Um, so they had to get rid of this guy and they brought on Daniel Stern. Genius, right? Um and it worked with Daniel Stern. So I, I didn't, I had no idea that they had filmed the movie without Daniel Stern. I didn't know that uh, John Candy was somebody who helped get this movie made. And John Candy 
pretty much did his role for free as a favorite of John Hughes. They even did the um, example, the pizza boy made more money on this movie than John Candy did. So I, I thought that was fascinating to, to, to really learn. And at one point, Home Alone was canceled because the budget was too high. And then they were able to, to work it out and, and, and make the movie happen, obviously. So all this stuff, the Home Alone was really fascinating as well. Let's get to Die Hard. <laughs> Die Hard is my favorite movie out of those four movies. Again, Die Hard's my favorite one on this list. And, and, and so why is the episode my least favorite of all the episodes? By the way, I liked it. It was a good episode. But why is it my least favorite? Because I already knew all this. <laughs> I already knew everything that presented in this episode. I've seen the director commentaries. I've, I've, I've heard interviews of Bruce Willis, Alan Rickman. I, I've heard all, all, all everything they've had to say about this movie. I, I've seen makings of. I, Die Hard is one of my top 10 favorite movies of all time. So I've dissected every bit of information that I can possibly consume on Die Hard. So it was my least favorite simply because I didn't learn anything new. I already knew all of this stuff. Um, still a very well done episode. Guys, this was a great series for a movie fan. If you are a movie fan at all, you have to watch the movies that made us. I can't wait to see, you know, I think they're going to stick with the toys that made us format and have four episodes a season. Can't wait to see what they're going to bring in season two because I just, I'm eating it up. It was so great and so much fun to watch. It sounds so weird. It's a, it's a, it's basically a, a making of a movie series, but this was so great. And, and as a movie fan, it was just, I was, I was just a sponge watching it, just taking it all in. Um, definitely a great series right on par with the toys that made us. Um, I loved it. So if you're a movie fan, check out the movies that made us. You're not going to regret it because it's so much fun and so insightful and such a, such a fun way to spend an hour. I spent four hours. I watched it all at once. <laughs> it annoyed my wife a little bit, but I watched all four of them at once. Um, like I said, the Dirty Dancing one was my favorite. Go figure. Go figure. Dirty Dancing, then Ghostbusters, then Home Alone, then finally the Die Hard. Um, not to say that Die Hard was bad. It was a good episode. Um, so have you seen the movies that made us yet? Season one. If you have, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And guys, check it out. Watch this. This has got to have good analytics so we can get a season two. <laughs> so watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Let me know what you thought of it. Thank you so much for being here at the OQ Review, where we get to talk about all of the geeky, nerdy stuff we love to talk about. And until next time, we'll see you later. Every single day.